This 1955 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop is being offered by the owner based in New York. It features a small block Chevy, a five-speed manual, and an updated body with some paint work that was done about 10 years ago. The seller tells us that the bodywork is complete, but not perfect. Body filler has been used in the past, and hopefully in this video you'll be able to see some of the details as to how it was done. This angle you can see some of the waviness on both sides, but the trim work is all present, very shiny, and as a true Bel Air, has all the logos and emblems in place. The wheels are steel with chrome center caps the tires are white walls and they sit on the original suspension although the rear axle has been upgraded to a ford nine inch the front fenders appear to be original as does the hood the roof also original does show some bodywork having been done underneath the glossy white paint as we make our way to the front we can see the chrome work, headlights, turn signals, and grill are in very good shape. And under the hood is a 350 small block Chevy with all components on the engine provided by Edelbrock. It features an MSD ignition, a holly blue fuel pump with adjustable pressure regulator, Edelbrock Performer RPM cylinder heads in aluminum, intake manifold, Edelbrock carburetor, valve covers, and air cleaner. The brake system is provided by CPP with a power booster conversion and a dual channel master cylinder. And the steering is power assisted. The Be Cool radiator system includes the mount, the radiator itself in aluminum, billet cap, and catch can. Looking at the area behind the grill, we can see no evidence of rust or body damage. Now let's go move to the interior. The seller tells us that the interior was restored at the same time when the body was painted and the idea was to keep it as original looking as possible with some subtle details and upgrades such as a store panel that now has an integrated armrest. The front and rear bench seats retain the original design and the headliner is an original design as well. Two speakers from the aftermarket sit on the rear deck and all handles and chrome work are present for the manually operated windows and door locks. Aftermarket seat belts have also been added. Moving to the trunk, this allows us to see where the battery is located. It's in the middle. And there is a cutoff switch located here for convenient access when the vehicle is stored. The inner fenders appear to be original and in good condition and the trunk floor itself appears to be original as well. A rubber mat sits on top and a spare tire by Cooper has never been driven on. The trunk lid is also original and has been repainted in the matching blue. White is on top. Going on to the right side, we get another view of the interior from a different angle. And you can see the trim work on the instrument panel. And there's some custom pinstriping as well. Let's go ahead and take this thing for a ride. 